guys right uh, my trailer's broken as you can see twin axle the back one uh, the support has broken so we, I had this with a full load of scrap wood yesterday and it was uh, uh, creating like a metal dragon sound on the ground and when I got out and I'd look underneath the uh, axle had snapped so I'm going to try and fix that today that's all the crap that I've got out from underneath. I've a scrape, that's the cover board. There's eight before ply, it's an eight before trailer. That's the cover board that was on top. See if I can show you the snap. Yeah, there it is there, it's snapped off. So obviously under weight, the wheel spread out. You get this kind of mad camber. So I've got a welder. My welding experience is, um, it totals minutes as opposed to hours and years but I will show you my handiwork I've done in the past when I bought this trailer it was a complete wreck um, but these straps are welded on because all of these straps these six on each side were flapping around and I did this welding in five places or six places I think um, two and a half years ago and they're still solid to so say welding can't be that bad even though it's not the neatest in the world uh, did a little patch job there as well that's stood the test so uh, not sure how this video is going to turn out if at all but I'm going to try and fix it the nearest place that can fix it for me is about 20 miles away and they're probably going to charge more than trailers worth and the welder combined plus I'm probably going to have to wait about a week I don't know anyone else locally with a welder, but as I say, I've got one, so I'm going to try and do it myself. So we shall see how we get on. This is some considerable time later, I've turned into a bit of a mission. The bottom baseboard had swollen and had stuck in the bottom portion there, plus the small bolts that are holding some of the side panels on. Um, I couldn't get off, so I had to grind off, so it's turned into bit of a mess. I'm going to wash all this out and let it dry before I continue to do anything else. Uh, the old brake cable from the old axle. This is solid. It's, um, it's had rust remedy and everything sprayed in there. So I could do with another coat. But this is the snapped portion, as you can see. So I'm going to knock this little tab out, clean all that up, grind all that off and weld some tabs all the way around there and if I've got the spare metal, some uh, strengthening braces there. So I'll show you my scrap metal collection and uh, see how we get on. So into the workshop. This is my little bit of scrap metal collection I've got down here. Bits and bobs, hopefully. Something in there I can cut to size and uh, make it fit.
Okay, so uh, this is my attempt, complete amateurish. Uh, I think it's function over form in this case. This is certainly not the prettiest of worlds, but they're nice and strong. So there's a plate gone in here, and a plate gone in here, and another top plate gone at the top there. Nice ugly welds for you, um, but I've been wailing on them with a club hammer for the last 20 seconds after I've ground them out and they're uh, strong so I'm now going to paint it with that on the body still keep the rot and the crap out uh, and as you continue on do the other side tidy that up okay so this is everything finished I have a step kind of joint here to counteract the bracket for the axle. This is where it snapped off. I have a plate underneath and a plate on this side. Everything's been welded round, coated in wax oil and uh, underbody paint. The world isn't the prettiest but I've been wailing on it with a club hammer for quite a while and it's uh, solid. So. I'm perfectly happy with that, considering I'm a complete noob. Um, my confidence had grown during the procedure um, so much that I fixed this big gaping hole. There's still a bit of a hole there that I couldn't patch or the piece of metal wasn't long enough. So I cut that and I welded that on as well. So uh, uh, big thanks to Chucky2009. Um, Learned an awful lot from his videos. Spent many hours watching those, and uh, without his help and guidance, I'll, uh, I would have really struggled even more than I did. So this has taken a couple of days at least. But I'm very happy with the result. So if you haven't checked out his channel, well, I'll put a link in the uh, description. Doobly do, and uh, check him out if you like welding, or if you're thinking about doing a welding. Uh, project for yourself so yeah take care